Hi, this is Mrs. Ariaga from the library team, and I'd like to introduce you to databases. This is going to be a quick video. I just want to briefly give you an overview of what a database is and show you how many databases we have for you to access throughout your four years here at Moreau Catholic. You may have used databases that your library subscribed to at your old school. I know that you've used databases like Google. You may not know, but Google is a database because databases are simply organized collections of data that are accessible in various ways. And data just means information. And so when you think about it in those terms, Google certainly is a database. Google is an organized collection of information that you can access by searching in various ways using their search box or different search features. And databases that we pay for here at Moreau Catholic are specific to your needs as a Moreau Catholic high school student. So I'm just going to show you what they look like. So I'm going to hover over academics and go down to library. And here on the library homepage, I can click on the databases icon and that will take me to the page where all of our databases that we subscribe to are listed. And when I say subscribe, I mean we pay for. So these databases cost money. And this is why you need passwords and sometimes usernames to access these databases. You can see up at the top that these databases that are under ABC Clio, this is the company that makes these databases, are specific to history. This company, database company that is, specializes in history databases. If I scroll further down, I can see that there's a company called Gale, and we have quite a few of their databases. There's a Science in Context database, and you can see even further down we have more. You will be introduced to these throughout your four years here at Moreau Catholic. I'm just going to open one up. And this one is called Pop Culture Universe, and this is from ABC Clio. Databases want to capture your attention. They want to make the information engaging, so they often include pictures. And at the top, you can see in this particular database, you could actually search by decades. This database looks at pop culture across decades. So if I clicked on decades, you could see that I could learn more about any particular decade by clicking on Let's say I wanted to learn more about the 1950s and the birth of rock and roll. I could click on that link and I could learn more about the birth of rock and roll. I could also see media and visuals, facts and figures. They have fads of 1950, 1954, and then fads of 1955 to 1959. And they also have glossary terms. This database is unique. As you begin to use the databases we subscribe to, most databases have a similar feel. Usually you can or you see how the information is organized at the top and there's usually a button over on the left or right hand side where you can email this document to yourself. So you'll get to become much more familiar with databases over your four years, but should you want to look and explore databases further before you start at Moreau Catholic, you can always go to that databases page and take a look. On the left hand side, there are widgets. These widgets will allow you to search the databases right from this page. You don't need to click on the link first. So let's say I wanted to go to world history and context and search for Afghanistan. I could search right in that widget.
and it would take me to the results of a search for Afghanistan immediately. Again, we will introduce you to the databases that you'll need as you need them. This presentation was brought to you by the library team.